stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for following me on all of my various social media platforms. I appreciate. I I actually don't take it for granted. So thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, this is the first time of you coming across stylish Niger YouTube channel. I will appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button on the side and also hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay guys, today we are going to be doing a very quick and easy tutorial. This, this tutorial, I am going to be calling it how to actually cut a reglan sleeve blouse. Yeah, for those of you that don't know what a reglan sleeve blouse is, so you could see the picture up there. I actually don't know how to... To describe it is this kind of dress you i know most of you you know it but you might not know what it is called that's for people that don't know what it is called so the sleeve actually cuts through the neckline so you see those dresses at the sleeve the, the sleeve will just cut through the neckline that's red glance sleeve so today i'm going to be showing you how to do it it's really simple and easy and this um project you can actually adapt it into any pattern of your choice you can adapt it into a bustier you can adapt it into a jumpsuit you can adapt it into whatever project like i said so today i'm going to be showing you a very simple and easy way to do this so i already have my fabric right here on the table so i'm going to be using about one yard of fabric to do this i'm going to be cutting the back and the front together it's really simple and easy and this dress is going to be darkless because it is a free dress it is it's usually a free dress so, um, if you are going to make it a fitted dress, you can add a dart to it. So, let's just get started. So, I have some basic lines already lined up here. This line is going to be my shoulder line. That's going to be like the start line. And then I have the full length of my blouse, which is 25 inches. So, I have about 2 inches allowance that I'm going to add to it. And then the first line that I have here is my bust line. That's your, the nipple point. That's called the bust line. And then I have the under bust line, which is 13. And then I have 18 inches, which is my waist line. And then the full length. So let's just get dive right into this tutorial. So I'm just so excited. Even a beginner, you can pull this off. Okay, so the first uh, measurement that we are going to be adding, we are just going to be doing like a basic dress. So the first measurement that we are going to add is the sleeve measurement. For like, and for those that actually don't know, like for beginners, I'm just trying to check. Okay, let's continue with the white chalk. For beginners, you uh, all of the measurements. So the way you are going to fold your fabric, you are going to use the biggest part of your measurement to fold. So for this case, the biggest and um, part of our measurement is going to be the sleeve length so um, for this so that is why i folded at 20 inches so the next thing we're going to do now is your sleeve and uh, sorry your shoulder measurement you are going to divide into two so for this my shoulder is actually 14 inches so i'll divide into two i'm going to have seven inches this is seven inches and then i'm going to add about one inch allowance to it which is okay I'll add about one inch allowance to it on this point like this. So from this point like this, I'm just going to measure about eight inches. So this eight inches normally eight inches is like on standard um measurement for your chest line. So I'm going to connect the lines like this together. Okay, before I continue, I'm going to be I'm cutting the back and the front together. So if you want to add a zipper to it, so you see. You can see my zipper allowance. I am using one inch for my zipper allowance. But if you don't want to add a zipper, you can just place both of them and cut the seam. So I've marked this point. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark, I'm just going to draw my armhole curve like this. So I don't need to do uh, the, the back and the front armhole differently because this is a red glance sleeve. So I'm just going to mark it like this. And then the next thing we're going to add is our full and body measurement. And for the bust measurement that I'm using for this dress, the allowance, everything is already included. So I'm going to be making use of about 40 inches. My the regular bust is 36 inches. So I'm adding 2 inches for allowance and then for ease. And then I'll add another 2 inches for stitching allowance. So I know it's much, but I always like doing that. 
so at the end of the day i'm going to have about 10 inches here like this so from this point i'm just going to mark my 10 inch and then for the waist line part so that's for the underbust sorry so for the underbust it is a free dress so i'm just going to maintain the same measurement i'll use the same 10 inches measurement and then for the waistline i'm going to open up a little bit on this down part so for this part i'm going to use about 11 or 12 inches it is a free dress so you could see i'm just giving it like a slanted a line and shape free top so from this down part now what i'm going to do i'm going to just increase so i'll use about 14 inches so i'm just going to blend this like this together so for this down part i don't want it to be standing straight like this so i'm just going to come by one inch like this and then i'm going to blend like this so you see it is really simple and easy so you see our nice curve the next thing we're going to add now we're going to add the neckline and the back and front neckline we're going to cut both of them the same so for the front for the neckline i'm going to use about uh, you could use um five inches you could since it is a regular uh, top a regular blouse um, but i'm going to use four inches so this is four inches now for my neck width and then for the depth of the neckline so for this you can decide whatever depth you actually want to use for your neckline so for this i'm going to use about let me say three inches or 3.5 okay let's just use 3.5 inches so we're going to use 3.5 inches for the neckline like this so i'll just curve it like this to have a very good clean curve so you see our basic bodies is ready so if you want to add your dart you can just use your bust pan measurement and then you include your dart i'm not adding it i'm just putting it for people that actually don't know how to insert a dart so you just measure it and then you connect and then you draw your dart legs okay so from this point you come down by one inch let me just do that from your bust line and then from this part you can go up by as much as 2 or 2.5 inches that's from the hip line upwards and then you're going to come to this point like this and then you take the pencil if you want to use one inch or half half inch and then you connect you just draw your dart legs Okay, so but this I'm not adding the dart. So the next thing that we're going to go on over now to our regular sleeve. So what you are going to do, I'm just going to come to this point now on the neckline part. So for this part, I'm going to use about I want it to be a little bit high. So I'm going to use about 1.5 inches or about two inches. So it depends on what you want. So I'll do 1.5 inches. You can actually do two inches. If the neckline is deeper, you can do two inches. You can do uh, two inches. So I'm just going to mark this is the two inches point. So from this two inches point, I'm just going to slant it into my armhole. You see how easy it is. I'm just going to slant it like this into my armhole. That's as how simple this sleeve actually is. So for my sleeve, I'm not going to leave it like this. I don't want it to be as straight as this because I don't want a bulge around this point. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take quarter of an inch from both sides like this from this part and then this part also so i'm just going to blend it so when i'm cutting i will cut i'll cut it out from the center parts of the sleeve like this so it's just going to be like a small slant set curve so this center part i'm going to chunk it out while i'm cutting so you see it has gone into that part the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut this the length of the sleeve so for the length of the sleeve so i'm just going to use the remaining part of my my fabric so i'm just going to come like this and then i'm going to use about nine inches that's for the width so this is nine inches width and then you could add half an inch or two inches for the fold so i'm just adding half an inch because that's what i actually have left and then from this point this is now the the width this is now the the length of the sleeve so the width of the sleeve you are going to determine that 
so from this part like this i'm going to use this eight inches that's going to be the length of my sleeve or, or, or the width sorry okay that's the oh, sorry i'm so sorry so i've measured out the length of the sleeve this is the length of the sleeve we use nine inches plus one inch and then this is the round sleeve measurement okay so this is now the round sleeve measurement so the round sleeve measurement that i'm going to use for this i'm going to use seven inches which is 14. so from this point like this i'm just going to mark the straight and then what once i get to this point i'm just going to blend it up to this point like this so you see how simple this is you just blend it up to the regular slant part like this so you see so this is where we are going to cut out now and then cut this part so you could see okay so you see guys we are so done with this regular sleeve blouse so we are going to cut now i'm just so excited for the back and neckline if you don't want it to be as deep as this you can decide to make it a little bit higher you can make it higher it will still fall so for the back neckline you can decide to use one inch for the depth of the back or 1.5 inch for the depth of the back neckline so for the back neckline you are going to chunk out almost everything when you are cutting out the red line sleeve um once you are cutting it out now so it's going to come in so that the whole and uh, 1.5 is going to go into that or if you want to cut it the same, you can decide to cut it the same. So now we're going to cut now. So I'll cut out the back neckline first like this. And then I'll add my zipper allowance here like this. And then the next thing I'm going to cut now. So I'll cut the down part of my blouse. And then I'll cut the sleeves. And then this part will slant this part. So I actually forgot to slant those parts so just remember to do your shoulder slant just slant it a little bit so you could use about half of an inch to do the slant so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut this part that's the sleeve we're going to cut out the sleeve so you're going to cut like this now so i'll cut like this So you cut out the neckline first, okay. You are going to cut like this, you cut it into the back neckline. So once you cut it, you are going to leave this part like this. And then this part like this, you are going to blend it. That's this part of the, the sleeve. You are going to blend it like this. And then you remember this chunk that I was talking about? We are going to cut it that small slanted quarter of an inch the reason for doing this is just to avoid any zipper uh, sorry any sleeve board you know those kind of boards that will come out from your sleeve so that's just like basically the essence of doing this so i'm going to open them up now for you to see how it is going to look like so this is the back i'll open it up And then this is the front so you see the front so at the end of the day see how it is looking so good so once once you are coupling after turning your neckline you are just going to stitch them together so you see those dresses that the, you will not be wondering what actually happened so you see this is how you are now going to join it back and then everything is going to go smoothly for the front pattern i'm just going to take this out and then for the back pattern also the same thing that you are going to do for the back pattern so you see the back pattern also is going to stay like this you know the back one is just a little part of the neckline see it's it's almost all of the part of the neckline so you see the other one also okay guys so at the end of the day so you're just going to go ahead and stitch and then you continue and then add your zipper and add everything that you need to add it's just a simple blouse so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the 
like button to make me know you appreciate what I did with this video. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, bye, and bye. God bless you.